we're off to the museum. Museums are places where we can explore, discover, and learn new things. There are many different types of museums. Some are art museums, or science museums, even music museums. Today we're visiting a museum that has musical instruments and even dinosaur bones. Let's go. It's a brand new day, I'm glad we're together. Clap your hands, come on, let's go. We'll find the way that leads to the treasure. Just take a look in the kaleidoscope. Do you want to go on a field what? trip? It's when you go somewhere and you learn something you've never learned before. Wow, there's a science center, a zoo. Do something you never thought imaginable. Come on, let's go. And now you can join me on the adventure. Alex and the Kaleidoscope. We're headed to the dinosaur den. Let's follow these footprints and check out these creatures that roamed the earth millions of years ago. Linda, what's your favorite part of this exhibit here? My favorite part is the fact that visitors can touch so many fossils that were the remains of actual dinosaurs that once roamed to New Jersey. You can touch a, um, a fossilized egg, which is right here. This is so cool. You can actually touch a real dinosaur egg. Wow. Mm. I don't know about you, but I can make one mean omelet out of this egg. We have actual models of nests. Some eggs were round, some were oval. Trace fossils, the footprints that dinosaurs made. We have a wonderful mural that depicts what New Jersey looked like when dinosaurs roamed this garden state. A fossil is the remain of a dinosaur, a living animal that once lived on the earth. Over time, pressure being applied to the actual bones, they actually uh, transform and become stone-like. They become stone. Mm -hmm. And that takes millions of years? Many millions of years. Many millions of years. Yep. This is so cool. See, dinosaurs came in all sorts of sizes. Some were about the size of humans, raptors down here. But some, like the Argentinosaurus, this dinosaur was as big as a Boeing 747 jet airplane. Just to give you a sense of how big dinosaurs really could get, this giant bone right here, was just the leg bone. And it's taller than me. It's huge! You have an actual model of a Tyrannosaurus Rex skull here at the museum? We do, and it's actually a very famous model. You'll notice that it's a slightly misshapen um, skull, and the reason for that is over many millions of years, as the pressure of the Earth um, was applied, the dinosaur's uh, head got a little misshapen. Huh. The Tyrannosaurus has very razor-sharp teeth, right? That's correct. And what does that tell us about what kind of food it ate millions of years ago? That tells us that that dinosaur was probably a meat-eating dinosaur, known as a carnivore. to a faraway place that once was a jungle and a dinosaur base millions of years before humans showed their face out in the desert where nothing is out in the, desert. the sun is hot and the ground is dry Curious, curious, look at that stone. It really looks like a bone. Woo! D-I-N-O, dinosaur. You're the one I'm looking for. What was it like to hear you roar? D-I-N-O, dinosaur. Could I feel the ground shake when you walk? Would I run or should I stay? If you 
saw me and wanted to Brush off the dust. Brush off the dust. Carefully now, clear the ground. No, don't rush. We'll soon see what we found. Yeah, I am dinosaur. You're the one I'm looking for. What was it like to hear you roar? D-I-N Dinosaur Could I feel the ground shake when you walk? Would I run or should I stay? If you saw me and wanted to play It's so exciting to look for dinosaur clues We search for fossils of life not found in zoos Seventy million years ago was strange bones and footprints show us evidence of change dinosaurs disappeared a long long time ago we love finding clues come on let's go dinosaur you're the one i'm looking for what was it like to hear you roar Dinosaur, could I feel the ground shake when you walk? Would I run or should I stay if you saw me and wanted to play? So, what does the dinosaur say? Roar! Yeah. That's what I think, too. But the truth is, nobody really knows what a dinosaur sounded like. Luckily, with science and technology, we've been able to recreate what we think a dinosaur might have actually sounded like. Let's check it out. Here we go. Dinosaurs laid their eggs in a nest just like this. Imagine that. Yep. I think I could get used to this dinosaur life. But there's no time to rest in the nest when I've got so much more exploring to do at the museum. All right, my friends, we have had a wonderful day here at the Morris Museum, and we are now in my favorite exhibit of all, the musical instrument room. We're surrounded by cool instruments from old times and new, and we're here with my friend Jerry, who's gonna tell us about what we can find here. Well, we're standing inside the Guinness Gallery here at the Morris Museum, and there's a huge collection of mechanical musical instruments mm. and automata, the mechanical dolls of the collection. And all of them are mechanical musical instruments, so there's a whole wide range of music they play, and they represent a lot of different countries where they were actually manufactured. Tell me a little bit about how they work. Some of them actually have keyboards, like a regular piano, so you can play it manually by hand. So these are all played without electricity, correct? Some are without electricity, but many of them, after electricity and electric motors became dependable in the early 1900s, mm -hmm. uh, some of them were made automatic play via coin drop and electric motor drives. I see. So this is like the precursor to the iPod, I guess. Huh? Exactly. Now, what do we have here? This is a disc musical box. It plays a metal record. Mm -hmm. uh, it was made just after 1900, about 1903. Uh, it was made in Switzerland. The model was the Myra, but it was made in San Croix, Switzerland by the Mermode Music Box Company. Oh, there it goes, so it's turning. So, Jerry, how does this work exactly? I see a lot of little holes here in this metal disc. Can you explain that to me, please? Yeah, the holes are punched, and there's a little projection on the bottom side. 
So when you look at the bottom side of the disc, there's all oh, these sure. little bumps. Yep. And as the disc turns, those little projections turn the little gear there to pluck the tooth and the comb. I see. And the vibrating reed actually creates a musical tone. It's a very beautiful sound. The one right in front of you is a, a roller organ called the Gem Roller Organ. It was made in Ithaca, New York, about 1903, and it's a reed organ, so it plays reed similar to what you'd find in an accordion or a harmonica. Wow, so this still works 111 years later. Uh, unbelievably, yep. Can I try it? Go right for it. All right, here we go. <laughs> That is so neat. Tell us about this one. We've got one more here. It looks really interesting, and it looks a little different than these two. Tell us about it. It predates the other ones. This, this is a typical Swiss-made cylinder music box. It dates from, uh, it's typical of what you would have seen from about 1820 straight through to about 1865. So it's older than piece, these two. Much older. Much older. And there's a pinned brass cylinder. There was tiny little steel pins in it that hold the musical programming. I see that. And as the pins come around, they pluck the teeth in the comb, and the comb teeth vibrate to create musical tones. Can we hear it? Absolutely. Thank you, Jerry, for sharing these beautiful musical instruments with us. I think they look neat, they sound beautiful, and I'm so glad we got a chance to see them here. Okay, so this is called the Popper's Rex, and this is the largest orchestrion in this museum. Now, an orchestrion is a musical instrument that contains lots of different musical instruments inside. So behind this glass, there are drums and organs and xylophones and all sorts of other fun stuff. Look, down here, we have electric motors that turn and blow air through the organ pipes. And up here on this paper roll, this is where the actual music is written. This is what tells the orchestrion what to play. And look at this tiny little button here. Should we find out what this does? I sure want to know. Here we go. There go the motors. And there go the bellows. And look, the paper's moving, and I think I'll, whoa! So the next instrument I want to show you is called the Violano Virtuoso. And this is actually the precursor to the modern day jukebox. I'm going to take this nickel and put it inside and we're going to see what happens. But first, come on, take a look. This is our punch paper roll. This will turn and it's going to tell this instrument exactly what knows to play. And up here, this is so cool, check it out. This is a real violin that's gonna be played automatically by all these motors and levers. And in the back, if you can see that, that's a real piano. Here we go. Gotta get it right. That was so cool. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. All right, my friends, we're gonna put your hands up like this. Boom, boom, shake it, shake it, boom, boom, shake it, shake it, boom, boom, shake it, shake it, boom, boom, shake it. Shake it, boom, boom. Music in my 
my hands, shiver, shake up high. Music in my hands, shake them way down low. Oh, music in my hands, go shake it side to side. My feet, everybody jump up high. Okay. Come on, music in my feet go stomp, stomp down low. Down low. Music in my feet go step it side to side. Cause rhythm gets my feet to dance, gets my feet to dance. Whoa. The rhythm and the beat, the melody and rhyme, the music all around me that fills me up inside from my head to my toe. To Mouth. Everybody sing up high. Yeah! Oh, sing it way down low. Sing it way down low. Music in my mouth. I like to sing out loud. Cause music makes my mouth wanna sing. My mouth wants to sing. Yeah! Oh, music in my life. Go ching, ching. That's good. How about this? Music in my life, I said, oh, wow, wow, that's smooth. All right now, music in my life, go, cha, 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 that's great. Keep it going now, music is the best part of my life every day. Whoa, the rhythm and the beat, the melody and rhyme, the music all around me that fills me up inside, from my head to my toe, to put my nose. Music makes me happy in a way. Dinosaurs to musical instruments to the Mammal Gallery. I may never want to leave the museum. This Mammal Gallery has the coolest animals. Fun fact! 
A mammal is an animal that breathes air, has a backbone, and grows hair. All female mammals have glands that can produce milk to feed their young. Mammals include many different animals, from cats to humans to whales. There are animals all around us, and there are especially cool animals that live in the forest. Grizzly bear, rabbits, possum, and owls. Can you think of any other animals that live in the forest? Beavers. There are too many to name. Music video! It's summertime again and the sun is rising high. The trees are ringing leaves so bright, so bright. It's time to go outside to see what we can find. We'll set up a campsite in the forest of the mines, in the forest of the mines, forest of the mines. We're not scared dark, dark night. We've got flashlights, food, and lots of starlight. We won't be afraid of imaginary bears. We'll be brave and show no fear. It's a magical crystal. <laughs> Actually, this is called an amethyst, and this is a giant amethyst crystal. In fact, 
This whole room is full of crystals and rocks and minerals. Come on, let's go check it out. The many beautiful rocks here at the museum come from all over the world. Rocks come in many different colors, shapes, and sizes. Shades of blue, green, pink, purple, brown, gray, and silver. Some even have a cool mix of colors. Our Earth is made of rocks and minerals. And if you dig deep enough, you're bound to hit rocks. Alex and the Kaleidoscope. I hope you've enjoyed our day at the museum together. We had so much fun while learning the coolest things. Become an explorer and visit a museum. Join us next time on Alex and the Kaleidoscope. It's a brand new day, I'm glad we're together. Clap your hands, come on, let's go. We'll find the way that leads to the treasure. Just take a look in the kaleidoscope. Just take a look in the kaleidoscope. Everybody take a look in the kaleidoscope. Spending time